We've been at sea for just over four days now. Everyone is finally getting used to the motion of Delos and constantly being around each other. The changing winds are keeping us busy, but there's still plenty of downtime to entertain ourselves. Besides cockpit jam sessions, the fishing lines are out, but so far, no luck. Journals are being filled, and position updates are being sent through the sat phone. But without fail, there's always a tipping point on a passage when the isolation starts to get to people. And she's losing it. She's talking, talking to the water. It's so blue. It's amazing. I think I would like working on a race, race ball, a race ball. like the adrenaline and like being splashed with water all the time. This young boy is so well traveled. I can't believe it. He's not a little, a little uh, sheltered boy from England town. He's a well traveled little man with a hairy face and a hairy chest. Hairy nipples. Hairy nipples. <laughs> Feeding bird. <laughs> no, I'm feeding bagel. It's lunch time. Look how there it is. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. Yo, he nearly, he nearly landed. If they fly close enough, I can throw it straight to their mouth. <laughs> there's a there's a rocket launch tonight from Cape Canaveral. Oh, my old buddy Elon Musk told me. I just don't know what time or if it's really happening. So I'm gonna try and use the sat phone to call. One of my friends. So let me just call Elon real quick. Yeah. Answer your phone, bro. Calling from the ocean. Your call is in four days. I'm gonna try and call my dad. Yeah. He'll answer. Maybe. <laughs> it's nap time. What the fuck, man? Like maybe the whole world ended. We don't even know. How weird would that be? You know? It's so possible, as well. It is. Your call has been forwarded automated. Oh, that's weird. Nobody's answering in it in the world. Dun, dun, dun. Would that be all right, Kim? Would you be up for that? I don't know, bro. Just us, us five crazy people. In the world? Just in this world? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. This is the story of Delos, a sailboat that's been cruising around the world for over a decade. I jumped on board 10 years ago, not knowing that one day I'd be stepping up as captain with my girlfriend and first mate by my side. Over 50 crew have called Delos home, and that tradition of sharing the adventure continues this season as we write the next chapter of the Delos story during a lap around the North Atlantic Ocean. If you enjoy Delos videos, please hit subscribe. It's a fast and free way to keep our journey going. It's day like five or six. I have no idea anymore. Doesn't even matter. I feel so much better. Like the sickness is gone. 
and I just started appreciating it. Everything so much more. I can like do stuff. <laughs> Woo! Oh, look at those legs, Robert. I've been really strong on the guitar today. I've been reading, I've been doing some editing, you know, just. I can do stuff, so that's really nice. Everyone's getting on really nicely. Me and Kira getting more and more confident. Yeah, it's just a beautiful day. Amazing day. We've got both sails up front. It's pulling us along nicely and it's not too rolly. And now we've got an amazing sunset behind us. Absolutely incredible. So yeah, all is well on Delos, man. All is well. surrounded by lightning right now. There's kind of a, a cold front coming through. Probably would, right now it's about 10 p.m. So anytime after midnight and 6 a.m. there's going to be wind out of the north and probably some lightning and rain. And I hope it doesn't go up to like 40 knots. I always get super anxious out here just seeing lightning all around. And I know Dallas can handle it and the crew is doing a great job. I guess for this for this passage, it's the first time that I've had such responsibility with Delos. And normally, the way it's run is, yeah, it's Brian's boat, but all four of us kind of share the responsibility of the boat and know exactly what to do and and handle it in different situations and conditions. And and Blue's been on the boat for about two years now and is incredible at like sailing and just taking control of the boat and making the right calls and decisions. I'm so proud of her for that. But at the end of the day, I guess all the responsibility does fall onto me. And it's the first time with Delos that I've had that responsibility. And it's incredible. I mean, it's, it's super rewarding, but it's also, I don't know, it makes me super nervous and anxious at times because it's pretty intense, man, to be out here on this boat in the middle of the ocean with four other people on board and just trying to get some place safe, that's number one. Here we are surrounded by the intense light storm. Yeah, it actually woke me up. The light? Yeah. Well, I was sleeping with the aft hatch open, my, my head right there. And yeah, the light. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, whoa. Pretty freaky, huh? Are you feeling anxious? Yeah. A lot or a little? No, just a little. Surrounded by a freaking electrical storm. Should we put a cell phone in the satellite phone and a computer in the oven? Does that do something? Yeah, it protects it. Sure, I guess so. Let's do it. We want to make sure nobody bakes bread. To, yeah. While we're at it, throwing stuff in the oven. This is a backup of the footage so far for this season. So if our sand were to explode. Okay, put it in the oven. Nobody turn this thing on. There's a lot of good stuff in there. <laughs> the wind completely swapped. It was coming from out of like the west pretty much, so it was right behind us. We were going dead downwind and now it completely swapped and it's coming from the nose, so it's coming from the east and the wind just got really cold really fast. Rain has hit us. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh, you got the flax too. Oh, nice badass. That's terrifying, man. Oh yeah. That's happening oh. above Delos. Oh. Awesome job, Luke. by and things have chilled out out here quite a bit. Um, the storm that was off of our forward starboard side has moved quite far away. Um, it's a big one though, I can still see him firing off over there. And then the storm that was kind of behind us is moving along the side of our starboard side, but luckily now I don't think it's going to hit us. I don't see it on radar, so it can't be that close and I don't really hear it but it's definitely still constant flickers in the sky. So there's that. Um, the wind is slowly kind of starting to come back more out of the north now, like north out of like the northwest. Okay, so it is 5.10 in the morning. That sail moved over from the north to the south. Those northerlies have set in, so motor off. Yeah, happily sailing along, doing Average of three to about five knots. Hoping to keep with the system for the next six to eight hours, as it was forecast predicted. But yeah, we'll just keep an eye on the weather and keep it going from there. But yeah. Mm. Well, after I don't know three four hours of sleep. Wake up this morning to wind right on the nose. So now we're kind of, we're not beating, but we're definitely going into it. We went from 40 knots behind us last night to, oh, it's only about 10 knots, <clears throat> but it's pretty much right on the nose, right in the direction we need to go. I don't think it's gonna last very long though. I'm gonna check weather right now and see what the deal is, because it shouldn't be out of the northeast out here. Um, when we were doing the shopping, I found this Cruz de Malta. So happy to see this and find this because this is Sherba Mate. It's like a tea traditionally from Argentina, we can say South America. The difference between this and a, a tea is how we drink it. So, how we drink it is with this special pot, right? So you are carrying your own even though you didn't know that we were yeah. going to find it. I know, I, I've, I've been carrying my mate praying for Sherba and look, it happened. <laughs> Thanks heaven. We fill up this cup all at once. So you just fill up this cup, shake it to get that powder out. Then like powder from the Sherba mate. Have our water, 80 degrees. Don't boil your water. People get mad on the side so you don't wash the yerba mate. People get mad for that too. <laughs> That's it, ready to drink. And we have a special straw that already comes with like a special like filter kind of thing. And it's really, really strong. Like most of the people at the first time they're like, oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, first sipper uh, of the day. Okay, it smells a lot smokier than the other yerba mate that I've had. Let's see what Alex thinks. It's really hot <laughs> and really strong. Ooh, be careful, it might be a little bit hot. Whoa. <laughs> it's like spinach and green tea, like <laughs> into a, into a drink. Yeah. You get juice to that. No, yeah. that's an interesting taste. Yeah, yeah that, that is the thing, you kind of have to like develop it. When I was growing up, I hated it. Like, I, I couldn't, what? you know, because it's so like bitter. What? You were just saying how we can feel it. I can feel the puzzle of that watch. I thought like a head, <laughs> a head, like pretty, pretty quickly as well. It was like, uh, okay. like the... uh, Bro, you might be tripping. I mean, you just have one half a thing. It's like crazy. 
We are pretty much exactly 24 hours out from Bermuda. A super peaceful morning out here. Unfortunately, no wind, but we are just motoring along. Yeah, I got lucky and I got the sunrise watch for my 30th birthday present. And it's probably the best birthday gift that I could have ever been given. <laughs> this time last year, we were in Svalbard. This time two years ago, we were crossing the Atlantic in the opposite hemisphere, in the opposite direction. Never would have thought that things would have come this far. So it's, it's pretty cool to look back on everything. It's all been such a whirlwind. It's kind of interesting to stop and yeah, just think about things a bit more. Came to the conclusion that the main lesson that I learned this year is not worry about the future. It's important to think about it and to know what you want, but even if it doesn't look like things are going that way, it's all right. <laughs> Things can change so last minute, or you can end up getting what you want in a completely different form than what you expected. Because if you're stressing too much about the future, then you can't be here in the present. And I don't know. Here's a pretty good spot. <laughs> And they're hundred miles. <laughs> uh, what's your wish for the day? What, do you, what kind of activities do you want to accomplish? I think we should all go for a birthday swim in our birthday suits. Okay. I think that'd be fun. I will make your train transfer, baby. Okay. I like the sound of that. All right, time for the B day swim. Uh, who's in first, little brother? No, no, no. First, it goes in first. Been a ball fighter. What's it like swimming in the deep blue? Dude, this is how many how many meters are underneath us right now? Like, like five thousand meters. Five thousand meters lower. <laughs> what? Wow, sit down there. <laughs> One of the coolest things I've ever done in my life. <laughs> like, no question. Next up on Delos, Woo! we celebrate Blue's birthday at sea and make landfall in Bermuda. Well, we came around the, the east side of Bermuda about to go through the cut and all of a sudden the wind is blowing over the land and you just get hit with the strongest smell of like flowers or trees. It's so nice. It's 
it's really cool to smell that after you, you don't you never really realize it until you're away from it for like seven days and all of a sudden it's like What do you do on bad hair days, Brady? I put Delos cap on, that's what I do. Whether you <laughs> whether you have long hair, no hair, or little hair, Delos caps are the way to go. <laughs> ah! Okay, everything's moving. Today in the classroom. Ruben is on cooking duty. It's a big part of your life going forward from now on, cooking on a boat. I'm trying to strain the, trying to strain the eggs. The eggs look a little cracked. That wasn't me. Oh yeah, there's also supposed to be some massive falcon rocket, rocket launch, rocket launch going off tonight, I think.